Now to the return to launch. The countdown is now down to just hours and minutes. NASA and SpaceX are sending a crewed spacecraft to the International Space Station tomorrow, the first launch from U.S. soil since the shuttle program back in 2011. Yes, the SpaceX Crew Dragon sitting on the launch pad right now at Kennedy Space Center atop a Falcon 9 rocket. Launch pad 39A, where so many iconic missions started. Our Roseanne Aragon live nearby at Max Brewer Bridge. Bridge. Roseanne, that spot has given Space Watchers a window to history for decades now. That's right. We are joining you here from that historic place, the Space Coast. But we all know that these astronauts live, breathe, and train in Space City. And so for us, this means something a little bit different. And for so many people, for so many reasons, this mission is symbolic of something they hold dear. And many people can't wait to take part. Wednesday, 3.33 on historic launch pad 39A at Cape Canaveral, where man once launched to the moon. That pad is being used once again, and it's now for our commercial crew program as well as other missions for SpaceX, and I think that's absolutely outstanding. A mix of historic nostalgia with a program that's shaking things up. We're really looking to be a customer to SpaceX and to other companies in the future. And that's what we're trying to do is to create and expand, really expand the economy in low Earth orbit. The SpaceX Demo 2 mission is a major milestone. Commanders and test pilots Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are executing the mission using the Crew Dragon's touchscreen displays in custom suits that plug into the capsule as part of the vehicle. But no matter how new things are with space. Bob and I put the DM2 sticker on the uh, SpaceX simulator in uh, Houston uh, as kind of a continuing tradition. The past has a way of showing up again. The NASA style guide is very clear. The worm no longer exists, um, but I write the style guide. So I, I made a determination that for this particular mission, on this particular day, we were going to bring back the worm. The minimalist insignia used from 1975 to 1992 will head to orbit once again. I grew up with the worm as the logo of NASA. It's um, kind of personal to me just because that's how I grew up. I will tell you that the meatball, the blue logo, the, the circle blue logo, um, that's, a, that's a logo that's very near and dear to a lot of other people, the people of the Apollo generation, for example. And don't worry, both the worm and the meatball will be a part of this mission. Speaking of tradition, yesterday, you know, we were at Cocoa Beach. And so those of you at JSC who are watching, some of the employees made sure to let me know that it's also a tradition to go to the Ron John Surf Shop, the flagship store at Cocoa Beach, to check it out because they say it's a JSC tradition to get some gear. And of course, we went and I just wanted to show you this. How cool is that? A surfing astronaut. I had to get it. I just had to. I wanted to take part in that tradition. Go JSC. That's there in Space City. We are so proud. I just had to, guys. Reporting live from Titusville, Florida, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Even astronauts hang 10. All right, Roseanne, thank you. The launch is scheduled for 3.33 tomorrow afternoon. Our live coverage begins at 3 o'clock. You can watch it here on air and on click2houston.com.